Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some DIY beauty treatments specifically for the summertime. So I'm just gonna jump right in and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna start by making a beauty boosting virgin daiquiri drink to keep you cool and also to keep you looking great during the summer. So you can make this before you do a beauty treatment or whenever you want. It's basically just strawberries, lime, and a little bit of cinnamon. You can omit the cinnamon if you prefer, um, but yeah, it's just ice, strawberries, and lime. And if you want, you can add a little bit of honey or agave. I just have it by itself, but it's definitely really refreshing. And the strawberries are really great for your skin. It has a lot of vitamin C, and it's also really nice and cooling in the summer. Once it is finished blending up, you can just take it and pour it into a glass and top it with a little bit of lime or garnish it with a little bit of lime. Of course, you can make an adult version of this if you want, but alcohol is very dehydrating, so it's not as much of a beauty boosting smoothie in that case. But this is really refreshing and a great addition to a summer pampering routine. Okay, so next we are making DIY cooling sheet masks. These are paper sheet masks with nothing on them. They're Basically, you can customize your own sheet masks. They come in bulk on Amazon for pretty cheap. And then I am brewing some green tea waiting for that to cool down. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the masks in this cucumber mix, which I will show you in a second because I'm gonna be making some eye masks with the cucumber mix. And then also I'm gonna make one with the green tea as well. There are a variety of different mixes you can make to soak these sheet masks in. And if you want to see more, I can do a video just on this. You can do ones for hydrating the skin, hyperpigmentation, anti-aging, but I'm just doing a simple green tea and also a cooling cucumber. I'm gonna stick these in the refrigerator and they're really great for the summertime for just cooling. Also, if you're feeling puffy, um, I get really puffy in my pregnancies as I have mentioned before in my videos. So these are really great for that and just leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. These are the cooling cucumber eye pads. And basically I'm gonna start with cucumbers and some water and I'm just gonna mix those together in the magic bullet. So this is the mixture that I used to soak the sheet masks in as well. And these are focused primarily on cooling treatments and de-puffing and things like that, um, which are great for the summertime when it's nice and hot outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that mixture. Once it's done completely blending, then I'm gonna go ahead and soak some flat cotton pads in the mixture. And then I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna freeze them. And these are going to be eye pads that you can put around your eyes if you're noticing puffy eyes. Cucumbers are often used around the eyes for cooling and de-puffing, and that's something you may have seen before in magazines or um, when they're kind of depicting a spa in a movie. This is kind of a play on that, but you're gonna freeze these and they're nice and cooling in the summer months. And again, great for de-puffing. So try these out and see if they work for you. Next, we're making a very easy cooling after sun spray. So we're starting with some aloe vera. We're gonna do a few drops of lavender and a few drops of peppermint oil mixed together. I've shown before, like in the last video, I made the aloe vera ice cubes, which are really great for an after sun treatment. I'm putting two drops of peppermint essential oil to help with cooling and then two drops of lavender to help with healing. Make sure it's only just a few drops, too much peppermint oil is too much. But you wanna mix that together and stick that in the refrigerator. Of course, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, be sure to run any essential oils by your doctor and make sure whichever ones you're using are okay with them. And then if you have a sunburn, you just use a little bit on the sunburn for a cooling and healing effect. Next, we're making a cooling face and body mist. We are gonna start with some distilled water and we are also gonna be using some aloe vera and witch hazel. So to start, I'm using just about a half of a cup of distilled water and one tablespoon of melted coconut oil. Then I'm going to add some witch hazel. I'm adding just a few 
squirts of witch hazel, nothing specific exactly. And then the same with some aloe vera. And then I'm going to add just a drop or two of tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is extremely strong. So you only want to add a drop or two of tea tree oil to this. And I'm also adding a drop or two of either lavender or frankincense. Frankincense is a little harder to come by, but it is extremely healing to the skin. Lavender is also really great as well. So I'm just mixing a little bit in there. You can choose which one you want. And then I'm going to pour that into a spray bottle. And then you want to keep that in the refrigerator. It lasts for several weeks to a month. And you can spray that for a cooling and also healing spray during the summer months. Last but certainly not least, we have a cooling foot and leg butter. Great for the summer. I'm starting with 100% pure mango butter and organic virgin coconut oil. So I am using a double boiler to go ahead and just melt this till they are melted completely together. After it has had a chance to cool down, I am adding a few drops of vitamin E oil and again, just a few drops of eucalyptus, tea tree, and peppermint. You wanna be careful with essential oils not to add too much because then it's just really, really overpowering. So just a drop or two is plenty of each. And then I'm gonna go ahead and whip this up in my blender. So you can use a hand mixer. I'm using my KitchenAid. Um, which I'm sure my husband really appreciates because he uses that for cooking and I use it mostly for skincare But hey, that's how you get a really nice whipped body butter or foot butter in this case I actually let this mixture kind of start to harden But it didn't quite harden as you can see it was at the beginning process But I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up real good and you have a fluffy whipped cooling foot and leg butter for the summer months These recipes are so yummy and perfect for the summer months. So I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed these and you try out one of them or two of them or however many you get a chance to make and you enjoy them as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe for new videos and a variety of videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next video.